What's going on everybody, Roberto Parker here again with Innovative Sports Training. Time for our Health Protective Talk for the week. Today I'm going to talk about low back pain. Now this afflicts a lot of people in our country. Low back pain is probably one of the most debilitating symptoms, syndromes, however you want to term it, that we have in this country today. Now one big reason we have so much low back pain is because Americans are overweight, about two-thirds of Americans are or overweight and or obese. That's one issue. Another issue is because we are not active enough, which I've talked about in many, many of my series before, if we don't specifically target muscles that are causing low back pain in certain areas that are causing low back pain. For example, there is a pair of muscles, one is called the illicus and one is called the psoas. These two muscles combine together and come off T12 of your spine, T12 through L5 of the spine, wraps around and connects down here into a small protrusion on the femur bone called the lesser trochanter. Now, the action of these two muscles combined called the iliopsoas flexes your hip and also helps to extend the spine which is necessary for athletic movements, necessary for just basic mobility movements, walking, climbing, crawling, jumping. Uh, we need it to be mobile, to be active, to, to ambulate. Now, here comes the problem. If you're sitting down too much in a chair, or in a car, or in a truck all day long, what happens is that the iliopsoas tightens up and when it becomes tight, it does this. <clears throat> it pulls your hips forward like this. This is called an anterior pelvic tilt. That places more stress on the low back, the lumbar spine, which is not good. Now I want you to watch something here. It also does, look at my knees, it also does this. I'm going to tilt my hips forward. Hopefully you can see it through the camera angle here. I'm going to tilt my hips forward like this. What do my knees do? They pronate in. They go in like this. So in essence, low back pain, we call it a low cross syndrome when your anterior, when your uh, pelvic tilts forward. That's called a lower cross syndrome. What happens is that your knees tend to pronate in. Thus, knee issues. So if you have knee problems, it could be because of your hips. Now, also going down the chain there, it also causes foot and ankle problems. So what goes on up here in your hip area can cause other issues in the body. It can also throw your line of gravity off by throwing your shoulders forward, thus putting more strain on your neck. That's called an upper cross syndrome. But getting back to the original target here, low back pain. What happens also with that anterior pelvic tilt because the iliopsoas is what we call a tonic muscle that tends to shorten and tighten. That's its greatest propensity. The gluteus muscle back here, your gluteus maximus, is a phasic muscle which tends to not shorten and tighten but tends to lengthen and weaken more. So the gluteus is a phasic muscle. The iliopsoas muscles are tonic muscles. Thus, what happens is as your hips tilt forward, these muscles here become really tight. Your glute becomes really weak. So how can we correct this problem? First of all, you need to stretch out this more. And one stretch I'll show you real quick here is called a hip flexor stretch. I do this a lot in my classes. I'm on my right knee, and I'm going to turn to my left and pull on the right arm. That stretches out that psoas muscle. I can also tilt towards my left a little bit that puts even more stretch on the outer hip area. Now what you also want to do is strengthen the gluteus maximus. You can do that by doing a lot of squats, lunges, step ups, and those types of things, which I'm not going to demonstrate right now. So you need to counter balance what's going on here. So stretch this and tighten this. Another thing that will help to prevent low back pain basically is just losing some weight. That will help strengthen the lower abdominals with some good ab exercises, some good core work, be mobile, get up and move around. 
Do not sit all day long. Get up and move around and be mobile. Don't stand in one spot for an extended period of time. Like I said, because the iliopsoas also to extend the spine. So if you're standing in one spot all day long, once again, these muscles will tighten up. Lose some body fat. That's another one that goes hand in hand with losing body weight. So to wrap it up, you have to counterbalance the iliopsoas. What it does, it flexes the hip, extends the spine. The gluteus maximus helps to extend the hip like this, extends the hip. You want to strengthen this, you want to stretch this, you want to be mobile as much as you can. That will help to offset the propensity of low back pain. Now guys, I was very, very brief in this. I gave you kind of a Cliff Notes version of this. There's so much more to what I just talked about today. If you are having problems with some back issues and knee issues and foot issues, give me a call. I'll be glad to help you as much as I can. I do biomechanical assessments. I do nutritional assessments. I do hormone assessments. I do classes. I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. So give me a call. I also give one, one time, one free 30-minute consultation. So give me a call. We can set up a time. My number is 816-405-7703. My email is rwpsports at yahoo.com. I would highly encourage you to contact me, guys, if you have any issues. Guys, I hope this has helped you. These topics are meant to empower you and to educate you. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.